Hello and welcome, my name is Vishta, and today we are playing Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Alrighty, we are going to turn 11. Cutscene? Cutscene. Uh, a bit of a creepy cutscene, to be completely honest. The only thing that the Imperial ship crews fear even more than traveling in the warp is traveling in the warp while there is a storm raging. The light of the Emperor's Astronomicon can no longer guide the navigators, and entire sectors can be isolated, preventing any help from afar. The chaos, at home in the distortion of reality, becomes an even greater threat. And even the most experienced navigators can only hope for a safe arrival at their destination. He landed in the sun. God darn it, Jomini. Oh, eternal God Emperor. Preserve us from the dangers of the void. Johnny sent his crew into the sun. Chapter 3 Surprise Attack. Little did we know, Johnny destroyed the sun and caused the supernova, which destroyed the world. An emergency meeting with the Sector Command Council is scheduled to begin very soon. May I ask the purpose of this meeting, Lord Admiral? We plan to discuss the future survival of the Sector. I want you to attend. This meeting of the Sector Command Council is called to order. Are all representatives ready to begin? Affirmative. The Adeptus Mechanicus is ready. The Inquisition, as always, stands vigilant. The Adeptus Astartes are prepared to continue. The Navis Nobility allow this meeting to commence. The Astra Militarum are ready. Okay, Let lots of names that I don't know. Battlefleet Agrippina present and accounted for. Battlefleet Gothic, ready to strike. As first among equals in this council, I will oversee okay. this meeting. A massive warp storm has engulfed the Gothic sector, cutting us off from the rest of the Imperium. The warp storm has completely disabled astropathic communications beyond the sector, and makes warp travel impossible for much of the segmentum. The key point is this. We are isolated. We can expect no reinforcements and no assistance. We have no way of escaping what lies in store. My agents have confirmed the massive scale of the Chaos Invasion. Ooh, Battlefleet fun. Battlefleet Gothic has already engaged with several small Chaos fleets and has led multiple successful missions against the enemy. Two artifacts of extreme power have been secured and placed out of the enemy's reach from the systems of Orn's World and Purgatory. These two systems have been attacked by Chaos forces. Admiral Spire and his fleet have repelled both of these attacks. Yay! The assaults show that the heretics want the artifacts. To what end, we do not know. The relic's power, however, could be harnessed to create some kind of devastating weapon. Thank you for your candor, Inquisitor Horst. The information you've provided is quite valuable. From what we have learned and from the traitor's recent activity throughout the sector, there can be no question that we are facing a large-scale invasion. All Imperial personnel must be called back to duty at once. For the Adeptus Mechanicus, all industrial facilities must be focused on producing war machines, weapons, and ammunition. Each Forge world must be able to provide the equipment necessary to the Imperial Navy for the war to come. Acknowledged. However, the efficiency of our Forge world's workforce will be compromised. The lack of supplies from beyond the warp storm will lead to an estimated loss Great. of 50% productivity in the Sector's manufacturums. The Astro Militarum must step up recruitment and ensure every man and woman is ready and available for battle. Any who refuse to fight shall be considered traitors and will be executed. Understood, Lord Admiral. 
I must remind you that attacks from the Chaos Fleet and the Warp Storm have thrown the entire sector into anarchy and confusion. Carrying out your orders may prove to be a harsh task. I formally request the full cooperation of the Adeptus Astartes for the war effort to defend the Gothic Sector. The purpose of the Space Marines is to defend the Imperium and to purge heresy from the galaxy. Ooh, it's Space Marines. You will have our help. Fun. Battlefleet Admirals, call every crewman to duty and be prepared to depart within the hour. We have received multiple requests from systems throughout the sector pleading for help. If our fleets do not respond immediately, the entire sector could be plunged into anarchy. Battlefleet Agrippina will set sail at once, Lord Admiral. Battlefleet Gothic is ready for any assignment. Let us strike back at the invaders. Our recent encounters with the Chaos Fleets have confirmed our worst fears. Abaddon the Despoiler is personally leading the assault. Great! With that, I declare an end to this emergency meeting. Oh. For the twelfth mm. time in recorded history, that's painful. We are facing nothing less than a full black crusade. Alrighty. Um, struck bad luck. A storm has arisen. Ooh. The yeah, ignite activated as though in response to chaotic hurricane of the war warp. Um. And its power weakened the storm. Great. I think. Ship repairs are 50% more expensive. That is painful. And ships are 50% more likely to get lost in the warp. That's actually less painful. Because. And then. Massive Chaos Fleet. Um, Admiral, do your best to keep up with them and defeat the Chaos Armada. They will try to take your worlds the hands of darkness seem to disturb the work their work capacities reducing the chance of them to attack okay and yeah for each planet they control they have a better chance of attacking another one and they are doing three attacks here um, the elders are doing one attack here. No one's attacked here. And neither of these have been attacked either. And then we have two here. So, yeah. Um, one's a breakthrough. Well, two of these are actually breakthroughs. So let's see what they are. So this is a defense one. And this increases the space station attack. And then here's a data recovery defend mission. And I'm not too keen on taking that one. And then here's another defense mission. Okay, so it's mostly defense missions. Um, I think if we do these two, and then we do one of the elder missions, we should be able to do pretty well. So we're going to do this one first because it's the most important, though. Because this is the repair space station and we can't be defeated because if we're defeated then basically our fleet is lost alrighty so let's take in the toughest and the gruffest of them all I don't see how the chaos is gonna win here Not only because destroying four defense platforms is actually a relatively difficult task, and because I feel that we actually have the same point values, which means 
basically it's a cruiser clash for us, but we have an advantage of an extra gun that does 18 damage. Alrighty, they've got quite a few ships. Where is my... there's my Nova Cannon. Ah, I missed. Wah, wah, wah. Alrighty, well. Let's get moving on. There's two ships over here and one ship over here. Um, I think what I'll do is... This. And I'll have our light cruiser try and take on the... Resuming normal functions. I think that's gonna miss horribly. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Um, they've got fighters, meaning that these torpedoes are useless now. Ship ready. And they're about to freeze us, Orders which... Received. Meh. I will just warp. Oh, and you turn the ship. Last nice minute. Oh no, you didn't. Alright, so we got two light cruisers here. And then something else over here. And then an escort. Okay. Oh, there are two ships over here. Mm, I'm gonna take this. Partly because I know that we can without too much issue. However, our battle cruiser is gonna be out of the combat for a little bit because it's prey has escaped us. Um, we got ship moving over that way. We're gonna try and take out this escort. And fail. Yeah, we did 100 damage. Okay, there is their flagship, which is a battle cruiser. Eh, not the best, I'll be completely honest, but we should be able to do that. Very nice. These torpedoes are probably going to hit. Yep. Alright, are those... Those are... Something completely different. Um, well, they're not fighters. That's really all I care about. We are going to start reinforcing the shields on these. Oh, I took a torpedo there. That's not great. Well, that's not great. We're basically surrounding him. Yes, the fool. Setting course. Please. At your command. Good work. That worked exactly as I planned it to. All right, get moving, you guys. Enough lollygagging. Oh, well, that'll do a bit of damage. And now he's critically damaged. And now he's destroyed. We just gotta reposition our ships. Let's repair that one. And yeah, that's pretty much a victory on our side. We can reinforce that shield. And we'll start moving to attack these two. I'm not too worried about the escorts over here. Um, this ship's pro. Well, this station's probably dead. Activating tactical 
agitators. Your orders. Um, he is retreating. Resume I shouldn't have wasted that reload, but I did anyways. Uh, doesn't look like we destroyed him. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Enemy ship sighted. Understood. However, we did damage him. Activating tactical um, did he blow up? Yes, he did. He didn't fully Enemy render force. in either, but Enemy ship I can't judge. Um, I might lose this guy actually. And eh, I can just. I can just repair him. That's fine. Not too worried about this. As I'm sure you guys can tell. Um, come on, buddy. Why you gotta hurt my ship? Oh, that was way off. Eh, maybe. I might hit him. Hey, look at that. Just a wee bit off. Sure we can just do that. And kill him. There we go. He is now dead. He is no longer... Alrighty, looks like this is the last guy. I'm not sure why the game's now considering that. Okay, oh, one chaos light cruiser? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I don't even know. Wait, what? Someone was retreating? Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't understand this game at all. Oh, wait, he was by the asteroid belt. Wait. There was another ship? Guess there must have been. I don't know. I'm confused. Alrighty. But anyways, uh, I can do one more battle. These videos have been going on a little bit longer than usual, but that's okay. Let's do this mission real quick. Um, okay, so we have a solar eruption here. Which really isn't going to hurt us too much, I feel. Although, actually, if our stations lose their shields, then they're going to take quite a bit of damage from that. So hopefully they just don't lose their shields, you know? I'm sure they won't. This is a completely different Chaos Fleet. I'm sure it won't be the exact same format as what it was last time. The map's a little bit con more conducive to us moving around, but not a lot more. Actually, Activating tactical hmm, do I say it's better? Because I mean, technically, these mines are actually helping, but ugh, I have to go around things. That's never good. Mm, that's probably an escort ship by the speed it's moving at. That's probably their flagship. Those might have actually hit. I kind of don't think they did, but... They're very close to each other, which is very nice for me. I love it, you know? Well, you're dead. Alright. He's probably dead now. Awaiting orders. Changing course. 
few cruisers. All right. Pretty much what I was expecting from that. We'll do a bunch of boarding actions on him. We're actually gonna try and ram. UT full. Now we have to turn around. Which is kind of the hard part. Um, he is actually stopping our ability to... Yeah, that stopped our ability to make a good turn. But it still turned out pretty well for us. We have a sh ship over here and then a ship over here. Yes, Admiral. Setting course. Um, this guy's lost a missile pod. One of its ordnance bays, so that's good. Yeah, this is kind of why I dislike the whole... Resuming normal well, you know, you know why I dislike it. I've said it plenty of times. How I dislike the fact that they've nerfed it so much. But oh well. We're gonna come up behind him. Put a hole in his ship. Put a hole in his ship. There we go. Didn't really put a hole in his ship. Oh, hey, you're... You are all, like, almost dead. What happened? I mean, I'm sure it's my fault. Whatever happened, but... Oh, the ship's not crippled. You're fine. Cruising speed set. Orders received. Setting course. All right. Turned you around. Maybe this is why we're doing so poorly. Because like my entire fleet is just sitting around in the middle. Being like, oh, I don't feel like doing anything. Despite that being my fault entirely. You know, I'm sure it's fine. We aren't really at risk of losing here anyways. Yeah, especially since he's retreating. This guy's probably a... Cruiser. Underway. Whatever. We've only lost one of them. We lost this one. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, he got heavily damaged. That's nice. Good work, Dominator. Yep. Although I don't think you did it. Yes, please come towards me. Acquiring new vector. Okay, that works. Cruising speed set. Understood. Can I do this? Yep, I can do that. Cruising speed set. Beautiful. Can I do it again? Just, yeah, I can just keep tapping him. Great. Um, game, his flagship is still alive. Right here, game. Right here. No? You don't care? Okay. Wow, we have so much renown. 
And we are actually going to get to level 6 next turn. Well, next um, deployment. Because we got one more deployment after this. However, that will have to be in the next episode. My name's been Bishta. This has been Battlefleet Gothic Armada in the campaign. We are rocking and we are rolling. So, as always, my name's been Bishta. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to like and comment down below. Every comment makes me feel amazing about myself and tells me to keep doing this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.